Hello and welcome to another episode of the In-Depth in Review Series. We've already looked at the uh, second Lord of the Rings box set. But uh, we did not get to finish that last time. So, we will finish that now. Oh. Um, once again, great artwork. I can't show any pictures or footage, as we all know the answer to that question. Stay up here. Alright. Um, you get plenty of behind the scenes footage here. Nice little paper pamphlet. I think I've already gone through all this. There's that. We'll just show these right quick. Since I don't think I showed them last time. There's a tree. With a face. And we'll move on to the next box. It's a castle type thing. I think I've already showed these actually now that I think about it. But that's okay, you just can see them twice. Now, and then you have a emblem here on the back of each box set, which I didn't know. I did not know that. And you can put these any way you want in your set when you put them inside the main box this way. Or the other way, I like to put them this way, facing this way, since they look like a book. <sighs> so here's this box, and there's the tree emblem there. New Line Home Entertainment release, Return of the King. Uh, this set has been done quite well, actually. Uh, as you can see there, it even has like a little wear on the top, as if it is an actual book, also on the bottom. You get that too, and you can see that. But these all look like books, and that's very interesting to see. Uh, there's a great picture there. I've actually never seen this picture before. So that's new to me. Uh, a little bit of dentage here, but that's okay. Um, I just found out that these are not being manufactured anymore. So if you can still find this on DVD, pick it up. You shall pick it up. Uh, you can't go wrong with this set, even though it is not HD, or it is not a uh, true HD. More another look at the chapters here. Um, just some uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, chapters and stuff like that. Uh, this one you get. This each disc is four discs. Uh, the movies are all flawlessly done. There's no problems with editing or bad cuts. There's a few bad cuts in there. Other than that, they're all perfect. Oh, we got some scuffs here. That's not good. More great uh, storyboards to show. <clears throat> As we know, this is the final uh, movie here. Mount Doom, I think. I think there's more storyboards on the DVDs themselves, and that is Isengard, I believe, or yes, Isengard. <coughs> um, you cannot go wrong with this set. Uh, there is a they are releasing the original trilogy, uh, the uncut or the cut version, theatrical uh, versions of the film on Blu-ray soon. You can pre-order them now through Amazon. Uh, up next is going to be, of course, this set, but it will be in Blu-ray. So hopefully it will be cut back to maybe maybe two discs. Because there's no reason to put, you know, four Blu-ray discs in a set like this. You know, you could, actually, what they could do is they could fit all the movies probably on, like, three or four discs. Will they do that? We'll just have to wait and see if New Line does that, and hopefully there'll be some uh, proper transfers. They're not just gonna, you know, pick up some old print of the film and not digitally remaster it and all that great stuff. So, or master it in HD and all that great stuff, you know. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, the set can still be found, you know, at shops, and you can get it used. Um, me, I'm going to go ahead and buy the HD set since this is not mine. I don't have this, own this yet. So I'm just going to buy the 
the uncut films, the special extended HD Blu-ray DVD editions when they come out in a single box set. They will be released probably individually. I think they, w yes, they are going to be. And you can buy these individually too, just instead of in this big box set. But uh, either way, HD or DVD, you cannot go wrong with these films. They look, still look very good on regular DVD. So, yes. And that's that, people. So, I get to watch me put these up. <laughs> I conclude this, and I will be reviewing. We'll be reviewing the uh, Blu-ray DVD extended Blu-ray the Lord of the Rings extended Blu-ray editions of these films when it comes out. I probably won't likely will not be getting it as soon as it comes out. That all depends on if I have a job or not by then. So we'll see. Thanks for watching this video guys. And have a good one.